Hello, ladies, gents, and devilish cats. Using my leg as a scratching post out there. But let's go out here and see what happens. I am very curious to see whether this is what? A new realm? Is this the final boss? Is this a giant meeting with our true god and that's it? The game ends when you pledge allegiance to him? I will absolutely buy a new slave. I am always in the market for new flesh. Back to the camp with you. Enjoy your stay in our pit of despair. All right, let's find out what the heck this is all about. I'm ready to give myself to the cat flesh. I don't really care about my own hubris and what it's all about for myself. I am down to sharing the crown. Requires 20 followers. Destroy it! Oh, I can't even destroy it. I was yeah, well, all right, well. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit anticlimactic. I thought that I was able to just get a follower. I mean, get a follower. Just go in there and do whatever I'm supposed to do. We do just send the slave into the camp. Do we have more than one? Perhaps that there's more than one awaiting? No, you're just a new guy that we just grabbed. Let me call you. I don't remember if you're already a member. I don't care. Eric Dawson. Welcome, Eric. You probably will not be here for very long. What do you want, you weirdy ass Weber piece of trash? What? What? Go, go farm. I don't care exactly what you do with your time while you're here, as long as you don't piss me off. A couple days before you brought me into your cold, my sister and I were separated without traveling through Anchor Deep. Please, can you find them? Fenono in Anchor Deep. Uh, it seems like a great way to gain my last follower. Why the hell not? We left this place with everything ready to be done how about you all eat this disgusting grass gruel so that way you don't bother me with your silly ass food needs i think as i have established quite clearly that i do not care about your well-being or your happiness Let's quickly go into anchor deep which was what three the the, the third the one the leftmost right you have to you have to buy Give me some more of these weird turnips. Holy crap, that's expensive. Damn, brother. Some extra seeds for some reason. And then let's go into Anchor Deep. And then maybe we can find her. I assume that she will be just, um, what do you have to say? Haro. Although a renowned, cre renowned recreant among his peerage, Calamar was masterful in the repression of his underlings through Agwe. <laughs> through Ag. Freed of plague, the creatures of Anchor Deep strike with their new vigor. Heed caution as thou travel therewith. Carry with thou a thesaurus, for it shall be needed to understand the rest of my sentences. And an Anchor Deep of Bronze Charm. Alright, give me the Bane Sword, for I shall be the bane of my enemies. And I will bestow my curses upon all who dare oppose me. This one has a charge. Yep. <laughs> Already? Uh, damaged? What is is this the freaking um, mind control beam that I absolutely despise? Probably. Right, let me get through these silly anchor deep motions. Wow. Appreciate them. I just kind of stuns him, huh? I don't know what this curse is doing. Probably I should have maybe read it before I did anything. Just pick it up. Immune to poison. Uh, I'm excited about that, but it's the thing that we got. Do I even need to harvest resources? I mean, I'm, I can't operate under the assumption. I cannot operate under the assumption that whatever is behind that door... How many times have I been hit? Just once, right? I can't assume that whatever is behind that door is going to be a quick and easy kind of thing. It might be yet another crusade. Reveal the map. Or curses consumed to Hell yeah! Give me that less forever consumption. Absolutely sign me up. And 
you know, I feel like uh, we don't really need that much money these days. What I would really like is to be able to survive. That would be great, being in each room with a brief moment of invincibility. Sign me up for that, because anything that helps me even a little bit with not dying instantly... I'm blinking, I'm blinking. Really, that's it? <laughs> the period of invulnerability? What a piece of garbage. Absolute trash. So disappointing. I feel offended that that consumes a whole ass tarot card. <laughs> this is just not right. Fills me with despair and no small amount of morale. I can eat, tax, and never again bother me. But this is just a great source of fish. My diet will be so nutritious and balanced. Oh, what you got? Damned Aerithiel Power Box. Use a random darm. <laughs> Sign me up for random nonsense. What is this? Yes, I will chop down this cursed tree. That certainly will not curse me forever. Hell yeah, I just obliterate it. You give me hearts? I give me a cursed heart. I thought that it would be something extremely deleterious to my survival, but it wasn't. It was actually very good. All right, show me the follower. There you are. We have to go this way. There is no question. Even though I would like to find out what that left. That probably was just a tarot card. Kill everybody. Uh, you're just offering me food, huh? Are these seeds? I think you always want to go with the seeds. Because the thing with the seeds, the more that I farm, the more I realize farming is just not sustainable if you automate it. You always have to go and buy seeds or... Um, find them on the, in the wild. It was like the stupidest event I ever saw. What a dumbass waste of time. Let me go over here, find Weber's sister, make her into my sexual slave, and uh, we will just do it right in front of him. He will hate us forever. But there's nothing he can do because I am the cult leader. What, what, what's he gonna do? What is Weber gonna do? Stand up for himself? No, I am his lord and savior. He has to do absolutely everything that I demand, including getting cucked right in front of his eyes. You? You want attack? You want appreciate it? What is even this curse, brother? It's just ass. <laughs> Give me a better curse that doesn't make me feel so damn inadequate. It would also be great. It would also be great if uh, you stop spawning enemies right now. There's Weber's sister. Welcome to the cult. There's nothing but misery awaiting you in my domain. I hope that you appreciate your life for what it was, because it is no longer yours. And now it is now mine. Your every breath shall be devoted to serving my cause. And you better just delete your ego altogether, for it is no longer your own. Let's just continue on to fighting areas, I suppose. The This crusade is quite violent. A lot of uh, violent gameplay going on over here. I've been completely forgetting to use my curse as well. A shame. A absolute shame. This, what is this? This just goes to the boss, right? What, what is this? Ah, shit, I'm gonna hit it, and then I'm gonna completely forget what it was for the next attempt. What is this? It's just the boss fight. Hello. Hello, Calamar, piece of trash. Whoa! He made me. He's so man. Here, get cursed. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> the relic. Another greatest relic of all time! Yeah, I am smelling the expenditure of another. I'm smelling the expenditure. Ow. Oh, he could have grabbed the crap out of that and still I got hit by it. Uh, I guarantee you, brother. I was totally wrong for that. I am um, quite intimidated by the fact. Please give me fervor. 
Roll through it, baby. Ah, ah. <laughs> Relic! I don't know what just happened. I just splooshed all over the map. Uh, I was in the middle saying something and I completely forgot it. I just rolled into, into a bullet. It's okay. Another second. Oh, I can't though. I am literally going after a freaking follower. If I sacrifice one... Oh, but then we should have the chance of getting another slave, right? Uh, Super Shalish. Does a heart and a half cut it? I think it will. Super Shalish, congratulations on being the chosen one to give me your power. Because this does completely refill my curse counter. My fervor. Ah! Excuse me, but why are you homing? I don't want you to be homing. In fact, I would rather you went straight to my boss quarrel. This is working. All I needed to do is just sacrifice another one of my followers. It always works out. The power of the flesh is just too much to bear. Uh, I thought that the entire thing to fight the boss would not happen unless I reached the end of the FTL tree, you know, the end of the traveling through the crusade tree. So I am weirded out that the option is there at the very start to just shortcut straight to the boss. That weirds me out quite a bit. But I guess it's like a nice option to be able to accomplish the, the quest, you know, and then get the hell out, I suppose. Let's go from here. Heretics defeated. All right. Uh, we did get the follower, and did, we did go through a crusade. So that does it should mean there's another slave available to be purchased. Let's find out right now. Do I have enough money for it? Twenty-six. Let me come this way. Do you have another one? Yeah, baby. That's number twenty right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me this furry piece of trash. You'll call you Chewbacca Jr. That makes number 20. Let's go all the way down here. Get these dumbass followers. What they deserve. And I probably will also probably get another level and everything. Gonna get all the jizz. Get all the rewards. Everybody still hopped up on mushrooms out of their ass. Of course, we want that sermon to happen. Do, do I want the sermon to happen? Probably should wait until the, the mushrooms wear off to have the sermon, but whatever. I really don't give a damn. Everybody kneel down and praise my cock and balls. It's a, a very simple sermon. Uh, once the indoctrination has been going on for so long, I don't even need to say anything. I just need to show up. Everybody drops to their knees and the ceremony can be quickly, quickly ended without having to be too elaborate, you know? Everybody already knows our values and what we stand for. We can just all simply understand each other. I just failed to repair. Does that mean that I just waste the resources? What a fun minigame. <laughs> what a fun minigame. I love clicking on something a little too fast and being punished. Right, well, I don't know, for some reason I'm just doing all that. Um, I don't think there's anything to be done. Other than bringing in the normal, uh, bringing in these idiots. How about trash garbage? You are indeed a trash garbage. And that's number 19. Welcome, you dumbass. Get to praising me right now. And here is being 20 followers. <laughs> Chewbacca Jr. Actually pretty good, naturally obedient, just like Chewbacca was. He's a good dog. Alright, off you go to refine materials, I suppose. Grab all this stuff. Where the hell is Weber? He needs to give me a giant reward for saving his dumbass sister. Well done there, Mike and Maggie. You're working very faithfully in the mines. 
and then I will go mining. I will go spelunking your butthole tonight as my lovely wedded husband. Uh, this poor, poor T Rose has been working so damn hard. How about you just go and drink, T Rose? You have earned it in your old age. Uh, we got the 20 people. Where is this, this dumbass? Where is this ugly spider boy? That deserves nothing but the rising. Please. We have so many people that I am having massive troubles finding them. There you are. Whoever, what you got for a reward? Absolutely nothing. You have just trash for a reward, right? Just more devotion. Nothing special, nothing incredible. No, just trash. Thanks. Thanks a lot for nothing. So all this cotton. I have so much cotton. I have so much. Oh, that's right. I always forget that I can also I can click and hit E at the same time and get massive amounts of money. So many pumpkins. Oh, this wood. More wood than I do in the morning when I wake up. All right, let me get out of here. Are you guys arguing? You better cut that out. You absolute buffoons. Get to work. Less arguing, more na navigating the economic realities of your life. This is just completely out of control, man. The, the poop situation, the seed situation is just not right. Just plant nothing but cauliflowers and turnips, or beetroot, whatever the hell that's supposed to be. There you go. Just the usual thing that you go in here and then you get extremely busy with everything. And you completely neglect your objective, which was actually getting the thing unlocked, right? At some point, poop will happen. They'll get it properly distributed. It would be nice to get us another level before we go. Or are we going to upgrade here? Leader tent, huh? Mmm, kitchen. Allows for it to cook meals and their fellow gold members. I no longer have to work at it. Probably should get a composting. Oh, look at all this food. I mean, all this poop management <laughs> that I wish I could do. Oh, maybe, maybe in the near future. Um, before we go, I really want to have a actual proper kitchen. Followers, bruh, it needs 10 ingots. Have it. it should have been refined by now. Give me that good stuff. 10 ingots. This better be worth it. Holy crap. Oh, really? It doesn't, it doesn't just build on top of the previous cooking spot, huh? It is uh, something that you just plonk down. And fellas will simply do can't say that I have a whole lot of room here. <laughs> it's not very, not very good a setup that I have going on. Everything's just a mess. I guess we'll put it down there. And, uh, they'll eventually build it. But everybody is pretty hungry. Should probably cook something for them. I don't want this kitchen to be built. I don't want to. Actually, this is a great opportunity. To yell at all of them. Perfect. Oh, excellent. Now give me your money. Back. Somebody got devoted. Are you it? Yeah, bad hands. You're leveling up like a pro. That was the fastest build kitchen ever made. This is like Chinese construction. It's all made out of star foam and paper towels. So anyway, following cooking list, so they get around to cooking it, but I have to schedule it, huh? You know what? How about you guys cook yourselves a massive pile of grassy gruel and then a whole bunch of berries. And I like that they get to poop instantly, that I, I really appreciate that. Can I tell one of these absolute buffoons? I think fighter just goes good wrist. I think it's a bowl full of grass. It really makes them it makes them sick go where's the work next page no where's the the work dialogue 
remind. Ah, it's a different thing. Go cook, cook meals. Ben and Jeb. Bed rest. Actually, don't we have enough resources to heal these Azulu buffoons? Why are all these people sick? Pisses me off. It's because of the grass, isn't it? I fed them a bowl full of heated grass. Of course, they all got sick. It's just what it, uh, what it takes. It's what it takes. Actually, no, it's because the mushrooms wore off, right? They get all a chance to get become sick. Well, I at least have enough flowers to go around. It does introduce a lot of busy work, though. You guys know my stance. And there was a comment along these lines. It's like, man, what do you feel about the game? Because there's a lot, there's a lot of things to complain about. And I do bitch about the basic work. And I said, and I, I am still of this mind. I'm about 80% positive when we call to the land. There's a lot of really silly, annoying busy work, but the experience is mostly positive. I really do enjoy it. Uh, all the all the things that you get up to uh, it just needs some more quality of life another criticism I will definitely give it is just not enough variety when you go out crusading you get given a tool and you hardly ever even upgrade them you know it's it's just weird the way that they chose to do the crusades well I have been ascended by the incredible power of my morons I definitely do not want an axe or a hammer. They're way too slow. I don't like them. Uh, when slain a foe, chance to summon a ghost. Let's just go with the Crusader's Blade. A well-balanced blade dealing moderate damage. Sign me up for the bog standard yet fast attacks. That is what I like. Being able to attack fastly. Touch of the Revenant. Tears open the earth to release a horde of ghosts that target nearby enemies. I like that. Flaming shot. Shoot a piercing bolt of fire. Hold and release at the mark to make it explosive. I don't think that we've seen the touch of the Revenant. So let's do that one. Seems the, the, like the most fun option. Oh, I forgot again to go and eat a meal to become more powerful. Now, this really stinks of final boss type of a thing, so... What I'm wondering is, is this going to be a crusade or is it going to just be, just be an encounter? As we're about to find out. Bella, the one who waits. Vessel, I relinquish you from your service to the Red Crown. Return into me and embrace the end that awaits. With this last sacrifice of my most devoted follower, I will be free. be Free to approach vessel and lay your life down at my feet. All oh, my followers that I care about so much. Oh no! Let me approach. What Luna? She's back there, ex expecting. Ah, uh, you actually get to decide. I want to accept just to be a, a dumbass contrarian. Like, everybody refuses, right? Everybody refuses this. I want to know what happens, buddy. Are you sure? <laughs> Damn it. This, this is how they get you. It's like, are you sure? Because you're going to get a game over screen, dumbass. I want to find out. I want to find out what happens if you just kneel and submit. I am quite stupid that way. Look. He was really good to me. And now he's making my brain explode and uh, it is just bleeding out of my eye socket. So, not the greatest ending for the lamb. <laughs> I'm hoping I get to reload. <laughs> but I don't even, thank you for playing, Noble Disciple. Please spread the good word near and far so that others may be blessed. It's just rolling credits. I didn't even get to fight. Look, I needed to find out. You didn't know it would end that way, did you? Because everybody chooses to not kneel. Uh, I am different. I'm built different. I am able to make the hardest choices that you have never found. And you get the most incredibly anticlimactic ending that you can possibly get. Obviously, there's no post-game gameplay because the lamb has just become goop.
on the floor in service of the cat that waits. But I am curious to see what happens now. Does, does the save game get just obliterated or what happens? Play. I have 20. I have 20 followers. Let me reload and see what happens. The Cooter Blasters live again. Hello? <laughs> then it simply saved before I went in there. I had 20 followers. One of them is sick. It just saved. All right, well. Aren't you happy that I get to choose the silliest? God damn it, I once again forgot to uh, eat a meal. But whatever, let's just go in there. Clearly the lamb does not submit. That was all a dream. It was all some silly imagination nonsense. And we're going to go back in there, get ourselves. Oh, all the weapons got re-rolled, huh? A blunderbuss. Hell yeah. Sign me up for this blunderbuss. And we got an eruption of ice pillars that freezes the enemy's own hit. Strike of the crown shoots a few projectile that has a chance to possess. Piece of trash! And then cleansing fire shoots three projectiles at once. Probably this is the bread and butter of my curses. Don't really care about the freezing effect. Especially against the boss. It's like, uh, is the boss going to be vulnerable to my freezing effect? Probably not, but he might be. All right. All right, little lamb. Come closer. And defy the god that gave you the power. Click, 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 click. Who else out there in their game through? Game through. Actually clicked on submit. That's what you're here for. To see the path least travel. I refuse to deal. No. I am too attached to the power. I am now a cult leader. You are old news, buddy. So you have betrayed me, lamb. You have shunned my gospel and claimed yourself a false idol. No, I am the real true idol. You are the false god. For you are the one that's changed. How much of a god are you if you were able to get trapped like that? The crown is mine by divine right. You fool. You think to stand in the very face of death. But master allowed me. I will give this wretch a taste of your wrath. Mm, this cat boy is about to get trounced. Oh, really? It's those three projectiles, huh? Those three projectiles actually landed, and I am very happy about it. Oh, that's right, I have a freaking blunderbuss. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is this uh, weapon that I'm using? <laughs> Ooh. Three shots. I really could use that fervor. Ah, you changed direction. Oh, I The range on this blunderbuss is not the greatest I ever saw. Whoa! Get wrecked. The cruiser really does a ton of damage. If you land all three shots into his gut, I will take care of this beast, master. I will cut that crown from its head. <laughs> okay, aim. Do you aim your shots properly? Yes, you do. Okay. <laughs> Did not expect him to be so immediately aggro. You really don't do tons of damage. Uh, you don't take a whole lot of punishment. Though. Holy crap. So shoot you in the butthole? That was the most pathetic showing of all time. With this kind of lackey. Of course you got destroyed by those four idiotic bishops. You think yourself victorious. <laughs> you think yourself safe. Do not forget you belong to me. Even after I have slaughtered you, your pain will not end. You can escape even in death. Are you going to throw my followers at me? Is that what you're going to do? I, that. I want that heart. I want it. I want it. I want it. The one who waits. All right. Let's see what kind of mechanics are we dealing with here. He shoots. He protects. He attack, but most of all, he puts in the kiddly. You're not impressed, are you? Not impressed by his hand. Just spam these shots. 
really we need to kill uh, a lot more of these followers if we want to do anything with our curses. Because these... Uh, the fervor situation is just ass. That's a big help to that. Fire there. Oh man, the curse does so much damage if you land it. If you land the uh, point blank hit. Oh, that curve, give it to me. Thirst. A little bit of bullet hell going on here. No big deal. He's just destroying his followers because we really need those red pellets. That was hot. We just cut off his legs. Holy crap. That was pathetic. The one who waits. There better be a second face to this nonsense. Did you believe me defeated? Did you think that you... That is, you are uh, the greatest dog of all the dogs? You thought yourself above a god. I am above you. That's for sure. And you're no god. You're just trash. Phase two. Here it comes. We're going to be just fine. The true one who waits he is a disgusting tentacle super Cthulhu monster. You are corrupt, false idol. Your corruption has no doubt spread. Hey, my buddies. They're getting what they deserve. They're all sinful. I don't like them. So they belong in those holy crap. Getting some polyphemus treatment over here. What is going on? Just burn your eyeballs. This is very uh, disturbing. Destroy them. Oh. Eh. Did they just always shoot? What's going on here? Hey, at least I dropped health. I appreciate that. And the health does not blink away. I appreciate that so much more. The fact that the health is just staying there, allowing me to just grab it. Are you going to pop out? Allow me to grab it when I need it instead of forcing me to put my anus right in front of it. And the, all of these health pickups are basically make. Oh, that's perfect. Take it. Uh, basically making this fight kind of trivial because I know that, hey, even if I take damage, we're going to be fine. Just fine. There is no way that. There's no way just the eyeballs, that's it. Defeat the one who waits, it was just eye floating eyeballs with health pickups all over the place. <laughs> there was a kitty inside. Oh, he's so adorable. You have supplanted me. I'm not no more instead of a crown of Oh, that's your mercy. Are you to be a vengeful, false idol, merciful coward? You no longer can blame your vile acts on me. <laughs> Chop off his head. So you are no different to me after all. You have become as I am. Yes, chop off his head, absorb his power. I am the new leader of this cult. A trophy for killing the one who waits. Acquire the new, the one who waits trophy. Ah, yes. This pleases me greatly. We shall erect this effigy in honor of my crushing defeat of this false god. The lamb is victorious. He cannot be un... He cannot be leashed by some fool. In hell, I am now have brought heaven to earth. If you follow my holiness, you will be sure to be anointed. Look at all these old geezers. They made it to the final victory. You thought they would just die of natural causes or of the horrendous toil that I subject them to. Sacrifice reborn vessel. Ascend once more and take the true form something, something other, something. Thank you for playing, noble disciple. Please play the woodwork. We're gonna roll the credits, and now, oh, you can speed, you can speed through them. I wish that I had known this in the previous time that the credits rolled. That's it. That's the ending. It is at the end of the playthrough. Though. Seems like all you do is just unlock more stuff. You unlock permadeath mode when starting a new game. How lucky of me. That's exactly what this game needed, a permanent permanent mode to erase my entire progress. 
uh, Spider Silk from Silk Cradle. Uh, sure, I'll do a thing. I don't know exactly who you think you're talking to. Like, I, I literally just killed a, a literal do a god, so maybe you should just be dropping to your knees and just worshiping the fact that I walk among you. That will be, I think, a much more appropriate way to behave yourself, don't you think? Anyway, that is the ending of Call to the Lamb. Is it the end of the playthrough? It is not. But I'm not going to just keep playing on episodes. What I'm going to do, I'm going to play this at my leisure and you will get an epilogue episode uh, when I have basically unlocked everything that there is to unlock in Cult of the Lamb. Unless I'm just gonna get sick of it and say, okay, that's good enough. You know, that is also a possibility. Don't discount it. Let's part with a wonderful sermon. Gather around, everybody. Never mind, the sermon's already done. We're just going to upgrade my crown, okay? Oh, we got a, a whole bunch of new robes. Didn't even realize that there were more fleeces to be unlocked. Only curses may be used. Receive four curse related tarot cards. I like that quote a lot. That is like totally my jam. One hit, no resurrections, deal 10 times weapon damage. No hearts will spawn, but heal using fervor to regenerate health. Basically, better than usual gameplay in every way because hardly any hearts ever spawn anyway. Heal a heart after completing each room, increase movement speed and starting health. You cannot roll though. That's okay, that's a decent trade-off. I really want this. This is the, definitely the thing that I will unlock for sure. I have a bajillion rituals to go through. And let us leave this fantastic, wonderful place let me just look at all the things that I can do. Right of Lust, huh? Sure, why not? Let us leave this wonderful place with a festival of fornication. Everybody must shed their robes and do the boogaloo. It is very nice. Just roll around the fertility idol and give yourselves to the sin. Select a Mayflower leader. Hmm. Uh, how about... How about Bad Ams? It's uh, always the most lustful of my followers. He loves to get jiggy with it. He's just going to flaunt his junk all over the place. Be full of sin and disgust. Give me that disgusting evil snake. Anyway, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna chill. Everybody now, continue your debauchery. Be the most depraved creature you can be and go out into the world world to spread my gospel. Worship the cult of the Blarkonites. Worship my cock and balls. <laughs>